What's going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming back at you with yet another video and again we are on the Fujifilm X-T3 looking at the overhead shot. Um, so pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this new setup. I am still playing around with it so wanted to come on the channel and we are doing some uh, three actually I have three of these hobby boxes or three different videos 2020 tops gypsy queen these are about a hundred dollars a box two on card autographs per box I think they're actually about a hundred and ten dollars so I'll go ahead and turn it over for you guys to show you Bryce Harper uh, man on front these look really cool I like gypsy queen I typically do about one hobby box a year I think I did some retail a little earlier for you guys um, but for two on-card autos per 100 bucks, the, the auto checklist is a little bit weak for this product. You know, just ha being that you get so many autos. But there are uh, a lot of good names in here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to get right into it. I actually had a few of you guys in the comments actually recommend um, that I do this. So I thought, you know, if we're going to do this, let's not just do one and done. Um, so we've got three hobby boxes, so... I'm going to try and get this sticker off of here because I do want to keep this box actually. Try not to damage the box. but Alright, so this is what it's going to look like inside. Nice little configuration. Uh, 24 packs, I believe. You're going to get three chrome box toppers, so chance for some really good stuff in there. You are going to get two autographs per box. So we'll go ahead and set those there. Set that off to the side. Uh, and let's go ahead and let's set those there and we will get started. So, I do want to thank you guys for sticking with me. I do know that Gavin Lux on the back of this pack. So, I do know a lot of changes on the channel. I'm trying to dial in this video. I'm trying to get it into a good spot. So, let's see. Starting off with a Araldis Chapman, Luis Severino, Aristides Aquino right off the bat. So, rookie, best rookie, one of the top two, I would say. We have a. Dixon, a J.D. Davis, Shinsu Chu, uh, Travis Demerit, and a Gavin Luck. So two top rookies in that very first pack. Let's go ahead and get into pack number two. So I am, with this new camera, working with a 15-minute file size limit. So one of the reasons I'm going to be swapping out for a slightly better camera. But, you know, I'm also just kind of learning focus. It's a mirrorless DSLR Fuji X-T30, but I am going to get the Fuji X-T4 when it comes out at the end of April. So... Uh, Morjan is that uh, Adrian Morjan on there. Shed Long of the Mariners, big fan of him. I think we have our first auto right here. It is going to be Albert Azale. So first auto is going to be in a, early on in the box. Nice on card auto right there. And good looking card. I love the. I do like the card design of Gypsy Queen. Let me go ahead and grab a penny sleeve for that one. I do love the card design of Gypsy Queen. So. It typically doesn't change too much from this year. I think this year they have a little bit more of the the, the gypsy vibe, if you will. I don't know what to call it. Daniel Duffy, Sterling Marte, and Yasmani Grandel are going to round up that pack. But, you know, gypsy's fun. Um, not a whole lot coming out right now in the way of basketball. I know a lot of you on my channel are mostly just basketball guys, but not a whole lot, so... We have Logan Webb, Andrew Heaney, Evan Longoria, uh, Matt Thias, uh, some people pretty big on him, JT Realmuto, Josh Bell, Hasley, and Chris Davis. So I'm going to do a video of each box. These are 24 packs, so they do take a little bit of time to break, so not going to do them all in the same. Is this Jose uh, Junior Fernandez? Not Jose Fernandez. Junior Fernandez on that one. Pete Alonzo. Kevon Abigio. This is going to be actually a uh, no-name rookie. So you see on front, uh, no name on front. Not like the Lucas Amenic from Optic or anything like that. And that's going to be Bruce Gratterall. So don't know what these fall. Um, would be hoping for a Jordan, obviously, or somebody. But it's not too bad. Buster Posey, Max Fried, and Tommy Edelman. So one of the things that I forgot to mention, they do like logo swaps. So this sometimes is a different logo. Um, so... Things you got to look out for. It's one of those sets, of course. Tops, um, you know, they do print the number on the back of the card, so you can also just flip through and look by number, so you're not like looking for things and trying to figure out what the what you're looking for. Cindy Alcantara, Rugnade Odor, Tyler Glass. Now, I do like this insert set a lot. Um, this kind of like cards almost, um, and they they're beautiful looking cards. This one's Cody Bellinger. 
I'll set that into kind of my pile of nice cards. Tim Lopes, rookie for the Mariners. Don't know too much about him. Another Bruce Gratterall. So you can see this one has his name on there. So that's the difference between that and the other Bruce Gratterall that we get. Jorge Soler. Kirby Yates. Uh, is this Daniel Leba? Domingo Leba. We have a fortune teller. This is going to be kind of like your, um, kind of like your cabinet card almost. Not cabinet card, but tobacco card. Fortune teller, Shohei Otani, non-numbered. Just a good looking card. Ryan O'Hearn, Trevor Story, and Miguel Cabrera. We have a Tim Anderson, Castro, Shane Hilliard, is that Sam Hilliard, Dustin May rookie, so the top rookie right there. Pedro Martinez, I do like that card a lot. Nolan Arenado, rookie of Yu Cheng, and Eddie Rosario. So, last pack here of the first row in the box. Still no like numbered cards or anything like that, but we did hit one of our autos. So, Paul Jong, Devin Nunez, Dom Nunez, <laughs> Nick Senzel. Uh, Adam Ottavino, Anthony Munoz, Andres Munoz. I am so bad with these names. So this is one of the fun things about this product is that you can see they only have the the last name on front. So you have to know the you have to know the full names if you're a breaker. Michael Brantley, Eddie Rosario, Patrick Corbin, Archie Bradley. Tyler Alexander, AJ Puck, and they even questioned me, like I knew that was Tyler Alexander, how naturally I said it, but I still checked. Uh, Mebris Valoria and Bryce Harper. And if I miss something, I apologize. It is actually pretty difficult to, um, to just be on the lookout for those GQ swaps and things of that nature. So I'm going to have to go back through, and if I hit anything crazy, I will let you guys know in a follow-up video, but... Ramos, Michael Baez. We have a fortune tellers of Aaron Judge. Good looking little tobacco card right there. Thames, DJ Lamaihu, and Scott Kingery. Yastrzemski, I expect good things from him. I am a, a quasi Giants fan. I have a lot of family in the area. Yuli. Robbie Ray, Trevor, Trey Mancini, <laughs> Lucas Giolito, Mitch Keller, and Tommy Listella. Justin Verlander, Brian Anderson, Suarez, Hendricks, DeGrom, Crawford, Ender Encarte, and Eraz Arena. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that name because we're gonna be busting a lot of baseball on this channel as basketball products wind down. We do have some cool basketball products on the horizon, but none immediately that come to mind. Glaber. Again, I don't think I'm missing any short prints or anything like that. But if I am, uh, I will definitely let you guys know. We have a Wheel of Fortune, Javi Bias. I, again, the cool little backs on those. Very, very cool. Garrett Cole in a Yankees Uni, Starlin Castro, and Cody Bellinger. John Lester, Clayton Kershaw, Travis Denard, Randall Gearcheck. So here's a swap. Uh, this is the Evan Longoria. You can see that it's the Gypsy Queen logo, so that here's the difference between the two on those. Uh, there's a Gypsy Queen logo swap. Don't know what the, you know, those are, aren't numbered or anything like that. I don't know what the print run is on those, but they are short prints. Trevor Bauer and Victor Reyes. We have Chance Sisko, Chris Mullins, Nikki Lopez. Jordan Yamato, Keston Hira, Luis Castilla, and Austin or Aaron Nola, not his brother Austin, who is on the Seattle Mariners. So 
overall, you know, I, I enjoyed this product, and we have plenty more to come. We have a whole row here, and then we have two more videos after this, so I enjoy this product. It is a fun product, but let's see. Lorenzo Kane, Tommy Pham, Walker. We have fortune tellers of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Not too bad. Hunter Harvey, rookie card. Max Muncy and uh, Jose Iglesias. So final row of the box. And then, of course, we have the box topper. Not sure. I think it might be like a 200-card set. I don't know if we can tell by... Number 250 of 320. So 320 card set. So you're going to get... How many cards per pack are these? I think it's like 8 cards per pack. 8 cards per pack, 24 packs per box. So I'm going to take a few boxes to put together the set if you are chasing the set. There is a Mike Trout base card. Always fun to see Mike Trout's base card, uh, what it looks like. That's a pretty good pose. Um, Gypsy Queen does a really good job with the colors. And I, I do like the background and the borders and things like that. So the colors really pop on these cards. So do like that one a lot. We have Jordan Alvarez. So a good pack here with the Jordan and the Trout. So Jordan, there's his pose. Howie Kendrick, Jose Polanco. Uh, is this uh, Jalen Davis and Albert Pujols. So 100 bucks a box, two autos, but the auto checklist is typically a little bit weaker. Um... You know, there's just a lot of a lot of bottom tier rookies, guys who are four dollar autographs, things like that. So we have a blue in here. Who is this? Who's this? Our blue is going to be Scott King or Keon Wong. So Keon Wong, I was not too familiar with Keon Wong. Scott King or these are going to be to one fifty, I believe. So it's fourteen of one fifty on the Scott King or uh, blue. Justin Dunn, rookie, I believe. He did not have one in 2020 tops. So that's going to be Justin Dunn's first rookie. And he's a pretty good he's a pretty good pitcher, so I believe you're going to be hearing his name quite a bit more. So. All right, and sorry about that. Like I said, uh, I'm going to have to cut in some of these videos because of the 15-minute file uh, length. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And is that going to be a short print or anything like that? Nope. It's, I know that it's not going to be a short print because on the bottom right there, it's number 4-2. I think the short prints are 7-5 from what I've seen. The short prints are also, um, from what I've seen, the short prints are like veterans and uh, legends and Hall of Famers. I did hit a, in my retail, I did hit a Deion Sanders and I believe a Cal Ripken also. So, I also hit some Ripken... Uh, what did I hit? I watched a YouTube video of Ripken, actually, just his career highlights. You know, no baseball on right now, so you got to do what you can. Jesus Lizardo, so we're hitting some pretty good rookies in this box. Brendan Rogers. We have a uh, Michael Chavis, Fortune Tellers. Corey Seager. Uh, Will Smith, not the Fresh Prince. And Dwight Lugo. Getting down here with four packs left, and then we also have our... Three chrome box toppers, so that's always a fun pack. You can hit some supers. I have the Mitch Haniger super from 2018, I believe. Might be 2019. And those are beautiful looking cards, so. Ozzy Albies, David Price, David Fletcher. We have the world of Jordan Alvarez. That's going to be cool little Jordan Alvarez insert. I do like these cards a lot. So that's going to be our second Jordan, and... Who, who's this guy? Mitch Hanniger. <laughs> Mitch, my guy. That one's going to go right up there directly. Going to go into the Mariners 2020 box I've got going. And Garrett Hampson. Is that Garrett Hampson? Did I say that? Yep. Don't need to double, double think myself there. Just knew it. Grizzal. Justin Turner. Gene Segura. Blake Snell. Here's going to be our auto, so it's going to be Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson of the Philadelphia Phillies. Nice little on-card auto there. But a couple of, like I, like I said, the auto checklist is kind of weaker in this product. Corey Dickerson, probably going to be about a $3 autograph, so nothing crazy there. Uh, it's, uh, Robel Garcia. 
Carter Kai Boom, and Austin Hayes. So I'm almost certain that I probably missed a couple short prints in that stack, but nothing crazy jumped out at me as like like ridiculous, like super short prints. So I do feel good about that. Samarja, Fran Mel Reyes, Nico Horner, going to be a rookie, Mike Miner, Chris Bryant, Joey Votto, and Michael Chavis. So final pack, and then we will get into our Gypsy Queen 3 box toppers and see if we can't hit a big kaboom out of there. Juan Soto, Yon Moncada. We have another blue, it looks like. Fernando Tatis Jr., Shohei Otani. Blue is going to be TJ Zook. I thought that was a Boba Shet for a second there. TJ Zook, number 33 out of 250 on here. Now, that's interesting because I believe one of these is going to be blue and one of them is going to be indigo. And that's... Can you guys tell the difference? I mean, I can tell the difference looking at them, but that's silly. Just choose a different color. Blue and indigo. So, that's fun. Uh, where were we? And, uh, yeah, I think, did I mix them up? Ah, whatever. There, yep, so there you go. Iglesias, Whit Merrifield, and Joe Jimenez. So let's go ahead. Three box topper chrome cards. I think these chrome cards look fantastic. Uh, if you aren't aware, uh, Topps is looking to chrome everything this year. I believe I saw Allen and Ginter chrome and Stadium Club chrome coming out later this year. So, whoo, with the fire right off the bat. That's going to be the best card probably of the break. So, Fernando Tatis. I'll set that there and go through these other two chromes. So, we have Mookie Betts and Bryce Harper. But uh, there's going to be... It just continues. It's like the last card of... Like, the last pack, the last card of every break. Um, Fernando Tatis Jr. And that one is going to be number 31 of 99. Holy smokes, with a 350 card checklist, hitting a player like that with a lot of, lot of not, you know, gr not so, you know, just middle of the road players to hit a Fernando Tatis, a, a true superstar, second year card, number 99. It's probably going to be our best card of the box by far, unless I missed some crazy super short print, which I'm pretty sure I didn't, but yeah, Fernando Tatis Jr., that's, that's a really good one actually, so I'm pretty happy. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that box. Um, I don't know the values on this stuff. I haven't really looked up anything. Haven't really even looked at the checklist, to be honest with you. I you know, met up with my dude who hits me up locally with the boxes I want and um, met in a parking lot, practiced our social distancing, and uh, got some boxes from him. So doing some rips tonight. And um, yeah, so that's going to that's gonna be our best card by far. But overall, it was not a horrible break by any means. Uh, and autographs were nothing to write home about, but a couple of Yordans, um, a couple of, you know, not so great on the blues, but a couple of Yordans, Trout Base, some decent inserts as well, and I'm going to have to go back through these to look for any short prints that I might have missed, but uh, there was the n the no-name Bruce Gratterall, and then there was the Gypsy Queen swap too, so Gypsy Queen swap of Evan Longoria, so... Overall, pretty good break. Uh, it is fun when you save the best card for last, and that tops cr that that chrome box topper pack has a chance to really hit some big kabooms out of there. So this was a big one. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the break, and I hope you guys were too. So if you guys enjoy my content, please be sure to hit a like, leave me a comment, let me know if you guys are busting any Gypsy Queen. Um, I believe there's some monster boxes of retail too of this. I wasn't able to find any. Um, but I do want to do some of those on the channel. But I do have two more hobby boxes um, that's coming up later on the channel. And uh, yeah, so that's going to do it. And we will catch you on down the road. Peace.